Most of my Kiramase demos have been focused on the power Kiramase brings to the view layer. Uh, but behind that are two very important pillars being the, the models that are being scaffolded as well as the controllers. And I think there's a super powerful use case for Kiramase that leaves you with very sim simple modular uh, building blocks that can help you continue to build super fast while not necessarily bringing maybe some of the the bloat that could happen when you're generating the the view uh, the view and, and UI layer as well. Uh, so to showcase this, I'm going to do a really really quick demo slash code walkthrough um, for an app here. Uh, I've scaffolded everything with Kiramase, so we're using Shadcn UI, Prisma, and Lucia with SQLite. Um, and the idea is they're very basic, but let's just scaffold out a to dos model and show you what that provides you um, to help you build faster. So. I am going to stop the dev server quickly, I jump back here, and we're going to run Kiramase Generate, if I can spell. Uh, we're going to generate the model and the controller, no view today. We are going to generate server actions as well. Um, so we're going to call this to-dos, has to be plural. Every to-do is going to have content, uh, which is required, and then every to-do is going to have a Boolean value of whether it's completed or not, uh, which is required. No other fields, no index, timestamps, it belongs to the user, um, but no child models. Great. Uh, one thing I'm going to do quickly is head into the schema. I mean, we can see what it's done. Roughly, this was that model. You can see Git is showing us that this is newly added to the file. Uh, we've got an ID, content completed, uh, related to the to the user, and then uh, timestamps here, which is great. Uh, I'm going to just add a default value here to say that it's false. Um, and then we are going to run bun db generate and bun db push. And rather than necessarily running and building something out, I just want to show you how the, the amazing primitives that this provides uh, under the scheme. So you can see that uh, it's created a few things. We've got a new uh, file in the schema folder, which provides us with a bunch of Zod schemas um, that are ready to go, as well as types. Um, so to use in your components, new to do, it emits the, the ID as well as the timestamps, ready to go. Uh, same with a Zod schema. So for front end validation, you'd be using this insert to do params. On the back end, you'd be using this insert to do schema. Uh, making sure that you're passing everything necessary in the right format uh, to your backend. Um, we also will create for you the um, query and mutation functions for basic CRUD actions for those to dos. So you've now got a get to dos function, super simple call to the to the user session, then a Prisma call to find many to dos where uh, the session is where the user ID is equal to the session, as well as finding a to do by the ID again, nicely typed in here. Um, as in terms of input to the function, uh, as well as going through that um, a, a Zod schema to to parse and make sure that you have the correct fun uh, correct value that's going to eventually be passed to your database. Um, we've also got the mutations are awesome because this is usually one of the more painful things to do properly. And here again, we've got uh, the function is typed properly. Uh, we're we're doing a call to the session auth. Then we go in and pass in. We get. Uh, a guaranteed safe object uh, by using Zod. Um, again, here, because this is the insert to do schema, it will have, I think, everything except for the the uh, the timestamps. Um, so it's just, it's really easy. It works right away. Um, and then, so what does that mean? That means that you can go, let's just go to our, um, our app and then uh, the app folder and maybe just go to the root uh, dashboard uh, just to show you. Let's say you want to get your users to do's in here. All you have to say, I mean, thinking really in, in plain English is I want to get my to do's. You don't have to pass your session in here that's being done right in the query and you're getting returned your to do's like that easy. Let's say you have a button or a form and you want to return you want on uh, on submit, you want to create a to do, what would you do? You'd write await and then create to do and see what you've got. Oh, there's a create to do action. Let me pull that in. What does it take in? Well, it takes in an input, which is, uh, which is an object that has a content, which is of type string and completed, which is of type Boolean. And it returns a, a, a promise, which will have a string. Um, and that string will, if we go, will return uh, a string if there's an error, otherwise it won't return anything. And so these things are just, here it is, right here. Uh, so these things are just done for you. So you can now, instead of thinking of this entire backend layer, you're starting to think a bit in, in pseudocode. And so yeah, I think this is super powerful. Again, it doesn't add much bloat that was three or four files, but they're done 
with best practices in mind, um, meaning that you can then focus on the most important part of your application, your UI and, and your user experience, and uh, and know that things are already, again, done with best practices in mind. Uh, so you get to focus on the fun stuff. So yeah, I think you'll love it. Check it out. Show me what you build and have fun.